welcome to Sydney Sisters. In today's video, we're going to be doing a vlog style back to school haul. Well, first of all, the the reason why we're doing it vlog style is because we don't know where our tripod is. So, yes. yeah. <laughs> so, let's get on to the video. So this year we decide to shop at Kmart. We just thought it is cheaper and the stuff looks cuter and for what yeah. you're getting, it's a lot cheaper. Then so, you'll get at Officeworks, even though they do have a few sales at Officeworks, but yeah. I mean, it's much cheaper. So at the end, we'll tell you guys exactly what we spent so you guys know and we'll tell you what we spent like last year. Let's get started. So we're gonna do it in two piles, my pile and Heather's pile. So the first thing we got was three notebooks that say everyday vacay mode. These were 50 cents each, so really cheap for yes. like... And then Josie got this really cute flower notebook. Yeah. And then I got this flamingo book. I think Josie and I both got one of these. Yep. Take, on you, take your dreams seriously. They were $2 each. And then Josie got the Anko 160 page. And that <laughs> one was... Uh, a dollar fifty, I'm pretty sure. So in the next bag, we've got more books. So I got this book. It says "Never Too Late to Be Brand New," and I was thinking, because I don't love what it says. I don't know. I don't feel like it's schooly enough. I don't know, I've got it. Yeah, it's kind of a bit. I don't know. I like it's not doesn't have any swear words or in it, but like I don't know. I feel like it's not really polite enough. I don't even know. So I'm gonna make a collage on this. I'm. I don't know. I'll. Might show you guys, might film a video, I don't know, comment down below, like the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one's mine. Heather got this one, which is $3. It's just this. Um, Heather also got this one, 3 or 2 We didn't spend anything more than $3 on them. It says, choose happiness, which is cute. So this one just says, stay in your magic, which I'm pretty sure is mine. Then we, me and Heather got these ones. It says live your dream, and I'm pretty sure these were $2. So as you guys can see, these are our piles. This is mine, this is Heather's. And my beautiful leg. <laughs> okay, and then last thing in this bag <laughs> is this like... It's a binder folder. Binder folder thing. These are office works are really expensive, so it's good to get them cheaper at Kmart. So, yeah. But I got this drink bottle. How much was it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it was quite, I think it was $2 maybe. It was pretty cheap. It was pretty good. And then we got these retractable ballpoint pens in black. And then I just got some more sticky tape because it is handy. Some. And then some sticky notes, and we've got some blue tack. Always handy to have some during the school year. I got some paper mate pens, and then Josie got these ballpoint pens. And for my bullet journal, I got this glue tape because Josie has one, and I want to have one yeah, too. Yeah, they're really good. And then Josie got these mechanical pencils, and I'm not really a fan of them, but yeah, I've never probably. used mechanical pencils, so I want to test them out this year. And then Josie got four rollable pens in black, blue, and red. Oh, now it's my goal. Next thing. So I got this really cool lunchbox. It was actually pretty cheap. And then I got these two things. These were a dollar each, I'm pretty sure. So quite cheap. So me and Heather are sharing these. These were on sale for two dollars. Heather got this binder. We're also gonna tell you guys really easy tips on how to save money, but like still have cute stationery and good like quality stuff, I guess you could say. So tip number one is definitely shop at low price sort of stores like Kmart and I guess in America probably like Walmart and Target. Those sorts of like lower stores still like sort of like good quality sort of stuff. Um, also when you get for your birthday or for Christmas and you get like, gift, cards. gift cards, definitely save it because they're usually like a year, you can use them for a year. Definitely save it so that you can use it at the beginning of the school year for school shopping. So tip number three is reuse some stationery from the past year because if you still can use it and you don't really need the same thing, for example, like a pair of scissors. I think I've had the same pair of scissors since like year five. Keep using that same stationery item until it breaks or you run out of it. Number four, so try and look at the sales that, because they do have some sales on while at back to school, so definitely look around for some bargains in certain stationery shops. And then Heather also got some sheet protector. 
a hundred pack. I just got a three pack of envelopes. I think this was a dollar. Okay, and then this is the non-related stationery stuff because we haven't been to Kmart in a while. Like, why not buy stuff? Yeah. So we got this really cute fake plant for our dining, um, not dining table. Uh, yeah, dining table. No. No, coffee table. <laughs> coffee table. Sorry, I forgot it's cool. And then, <laughs> so the next thing that we got was a woven basket, and we're just going to fit all our TV remotes in here. And then. On top of the coffee table, we're going to put the plant and then... <laughs> You're a weirdo, Heather. And then to put this on, we have this golden tray. And I think... So there you go, guys. That's pretty fancy. Oh, and some coasters. Or artsy. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, for organising our pantry, we could... Film a pantry tour. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. So one. we'll film a pantry tour and you guys will see these in it, but we're storing stuff in it. You guys will check it out. Also, me and Heather are doing chores, so we have, we decided to get a whiteboard that we're going to put in the kitchen and we're going to write like chores and fancy letters and write our chores for the weeks. For the weeks. For the week. <laughs> for the week. Um, and then I was kind of thinking this too. Was, this was $12, so quite cheap. Could like video plan on there too. Yeah, be your businessy. So that's it, guys. So we do the outro. Hello, everybody, for the second time. So we forgot a few things that we are going in cold, which is not the clothes store, but it's the it's our supermarket in Australia. And yes, yeah, so we got a few things. Also, we want to get them from Coles because they're definitely some sort of things which are like glue sticks and wide out. You definitely want to get the quality stuff, or it just isn't good so we got this glue stick a yoohoo or something i don't even know what it means yeah i think yeah, um, like so we got that because they're good quality ones and we got another one as well um we had also got some hb pencils and we also got some good quality white outs so now this is going to be the outro so goodbye everybody well like Move on to the outro. <laughs> okay, guys, so me and Heather have got the ending price and drum roll, please. Mm. It was $94, what? which sounds like a lot, but for all the stuff we got, it actually wasn't a lot. Pretty much, that's it. Oh, and last year we spent around $250. Yeah, 200 at like office Maybe lists. even more, maybe $300. Yeah. We spent a lot and... Um, yeah, we just spent our office works and we like I feel like we didn't go overboard. We tried to get cheap yeah, stuff cheap as well. Stuff too. Um so yeah. and yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs, thumbs up, up and subscribe down below. And make sure down you uh, make sure you <laughs> comment down below any requested videos that you have for us. We're happy to do it and film that video for you. So see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.